Hi, this is Doc Kelly coming to you today talking about forecasting. So how do we do that? There's a really cool tool in Excel to help us do that. So if we wanted to forecast something, um, would help us on budgeting, help minimize our risks, maybe maximize profits, minimize costs, and get us a nice raise from the boss, right? So we can download some data. So here's a data dump of monthly sales volumes. Um, units aren't important, so just a uh, amount there. You can do this with anything. And typically what we do is come up here to insert recommended charts and we can kind of see the trend of the progression on how we did as far as the quantity of what we sold. So here's our nice little line chart. We can fix it up. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this class. Way too many things to fix up to make things look good. Uh, but the only thing really I can do on a visual is add a trend line. But that's not really that exciting, right? Just gets a nice trend line in there. Uh, we can choose trend lines over there. We could do a moving average if we wanted to and smooth it out, but pretty much we're stuck with what Excel gives us here. So instead of a trend line and graphing it like this, what we're going to do is do something a little different. So there's a feature in Excel to help us with that. So what I'm going to do, see I have data from 18 all the way to 22. So what if I want to predict next year? What I can do over here is come over here to data. And here's a nice little button. I'm not sure if you noticed it before. Forecast sheet. So we can click on that. And voila, look at that. Boom. Crazy, huh? Yeah, so not only have we forecasted it, but it has caught the seasonality in here as well. And look at that. So it went out to whatever final date you want. This has gone out two years. And we can see some more options underneath here. So our forecast start date is when we wanted to start. So we tail it off and it matches up exactly where we ended before. We have a confidence interval. So if that's too wide of a bandwidth for your boss, we could always ramp that down to maybe 90% or 67%, depending on how many standard deviations you want. So we can have that stream down. And it even finds seasonality. So we have it detected automatically. So we do see that ramp up and down along the path there. Really cool. And that's all there is to it. Just click on that little button, forecast sheet, and hit create. And what that does, it gives you a new page, a new table, and our volume forecasted and our upper and our lower bound on the table. And it even graphed it for us. Look at that. It's a nice little graph there. I know, pretty cool. So thanks for turning in, learning more about forecasting. Doc Kelly, signing out.